in the run up to Christmas, we're all looking forward to doing our Christmas shopping and thinking about what we're going to have for Christmas dinner, you know, getting excited for the festive period and spending time with our family and friends. Uh, but the reality is very, very different for um, the many, many thousands of homeless families and children across the country and in and in Kent. Um, who are, you know, just worrying about where they're going to be living. No child should ever have to wake up homeless on Christmas Day, um, let alone the amount that are, um, you know, as you say, almost 2,000 in Kent and 128,000 across the country. So fortunately, um, we have legal protections in place that mean that children don't um, ever have to sleep on the street. So you won't see children out, um, you know, sleeping uh, in sleeping bags on the pavement or anything like that. But sadly, there are many families with children who are facing homelessness this Christmas. Um, so that means, you know, they have lost their home um, for whatever reason that might be, and they can't find another one. Um, so they tend to be living in temporary accommodation. And often in the worst cases, that's in places like bed and breakfasts or hostels where they'll be sleeping in just a small room with all their family, um, all in one room and kind of sharing kitchen and bedroom, uh, kitchen and bathroom facilities with other people who are using the hostel. In an area such as Medway, you know, if private rents are particularly high, um, if private landlords say they don't want to rent to families or they don't want to rent to people who are receiving housing benefit, it makes it extremely difficult for somebody to find a new place to live.